so as you know that the graph can be represented as an adjacency list or an adjacency matrix so there are pros and cons of both the methods and uh, we will be seeing that in this particular section all right so uh just for example let us take uh, that we want to make this particular graph so let us say that this is uh, one of the node uh, that is called zero and we have several other nodes as well that is uh, let us have uh, maybe this is called uh, one and uh, we have okay let me just copy this and just paste it multiple times so we have this one as two and uh, then we have maybe this is called three and uh, let's have one more uh, node called uh, this is called uh, four okay and these are the vertices of the graphs that is zero one two three four and let us just uh, join the edges also so i have uh, so i'll just select a line and let me put a line between um, uh, between this and this okay so i'll what i'll do is uh, i'll just take over here and just attach this line to this so here we can see that we have an edge from zero to one okay similar way we'll do it for uh, maybe we have an edge from uh, a three uh two one okay so in between three and one we have another edge and uh, similarly let's have an edge between one and uh three and let's have an edge between four and one so our graph can now be represented as a set of vertices uh, including zero one two three and four and the set of edges that is like 0 1 which was a uh, so so we have an edge between 0 1 we have an edge between 1 and 4 we have an edge between 1 and 3 and the edge between 2 and 3 okay so let us just for sake of simplicity let us consider that these uh, edges are bidirectional that is if you want you can go from 3 to 2 and 2 to 3 via the same edge so now i've opened my editor vs code editor so first first what we are going to see is we are going to see the edges and see adjacency a uh, matrix adjacency matrix representation of graph okay and uh, so our graph basically has the what all so our graph constitutes of set of vertices that constitutes of 0 1 2 3 and 4 okay so these are the nodes of the graph as you can see from the diagram here so we have 0 1 2 3 and 4 and a set of edges can be represented as uh, here we have an edge between 0 and 1 so one of the edges would be 0 1 or uh, 0 1 and then we have an edge between then we have an edge between 1 and 4 so it will be 1 and 4 then we have an edge between 1 and 3 so it will be one and uh, three and at last we have an edge between two and three okay two and three or three and two you can say either way because these are bidirectional edges uh, so i'll just write it two and three here okay so our graph can be represented as set of vertices and a set of edges so each of the edge represent will have two vertices uh, indicating that these two vertices are connected since these are bidirectional graphs you can imagine that if you have an edge from zero to one you also have an edge from 1 to 0 okay so i'll just add these as well here uh so we have 1 4 so i'll just add uh, 4 1 here as well and now we have 1 3 uh, so i'll just add 3 and 1 also here and now we have 2 3 so i'll just add 3 and 2 also here okay so this this is due to the bidirectional property so now the adjacency matrix that we are going to build for this graph will be of n cross n where n is the number of vertices that are present in the graph so here you can see that here we have one two three four and five so five vertices are there so our adjacency matrix representing a graph would be of five cross five matrix so i'll just declare one uh, for that so i'll be having int and i'll just represent graph and here i'll just type five cross five okay so now since i have uh, declared uh, this graph here so let me just uh, uh, set all the values to zero initially uh, so there might be some junk values present so for that what i'll do is i'll just make all of them to be zero now for i is equal to zero um, i less than uh, five so instead of just five let us just declare another variable on the top 
uh, which will just indicate how many vertices are there so i'll just uh, uh, declare a constant into v is equal to 5 okay and i'll just use v over here everywhere so v cross v and here also i less than v and i'll just do i plus plus and then a nested for loop of i j is, I, j is equal to zero um j less than v and you have j plus plus and what i'll do is graph of i j is equal to zero so i'll just assign graph of i j is equal to zero so that it indicates that there is no edge between uh, the node i and j here okay now what we'll do is we'll just add an edge between a uh, graph of uh, 0 and 1 is equal to 1 graph of 1 comma 1 and 0 is equal to 1 okay so in this similar fashion what we need to do is we need to add it for all the other uh, uh, nodes that are present here so let me just fill all of them uh, so here we have 1 0 and 1 and 4 and 4 and 1 then we have 1 and 3 and we have between 3 and 1 then we have between 2 and 3 and then we have between 3 and 2 okay so now uh, we are done with uh, the assigning so this this one indicates that there is an edge between 0 and 1 the second one indicates that we have an edge between 1 and 0 so we have 1 and 4 4 and 1 so wherever we have one present in the matrix it simply indicates that there is an edge between that vertex and the other vertex i and j so if we just consider this to be ith vertex and this to be jth vertex so it just so a one in graph of ij indicates that there is an edge from ith vertex to the jth vertex after assigning the edges in the adjacency matrix, what I'll do is I'll just print the graph, print graph. And I'll just do print graph and just pass graph variable here. Okay, so this print graph function is something that we need to define here on the top. So I'll just have print graph. And here we need to pass a 2D array. So how do we pass a 2D array? We have graph and this is how we pass it over here okay uh graph here so here it will be showing you an error because always it expects you to have uh the rightmost bracket to be filled so here i'll just fill in v and now this error should be gone all right so now you can also have both these brackets filled but at least you should be having the rightmost uh, bracket to be filled all right so now void print graph will accept the graph and let us just do a cout statement and we'll just say graph is end line and here we'll just do a double for loop that is for int i is equal to 0 i less than v i plus plus for int j is equal to 0 j less than v and j plus plus and we'll just do a c out graph of ij okay and let us leave a space after printing whether there is a edge between i and j or not and then we also leave a line uh, for e after each line all right and at the end let us leave another line so that uh, the next time you try to print a graph uh, it prints in a new different line all right so this would be our print graph function so graph is and it will just print the graph okay so one more thing that we missed over here is uh, we need to always assign an edge between uh, the vertex and itself okay so there's an edge between 0 0 between 1 1 between 2 2 between 3 3 etc okay so how do we do this uh, while assigning this uh, zero right so uh, what we'll do is we'll just simply check if uh, uh, if i is equal to is equal to j so we'll just assign graph of i j graph of i j is equal to one all right so this would this condition would take care of that uh, uh, the uh, edge between uh, vertex and itself all right uh, so this uh, so we are now we're done with uh, the print graph function as well and uh, let us just compile this program and see uh, what output do we get I'll just run script.sh and let us see whether it prints a graph or not. All right, so here the, our graph is printed. Here we can see that there's an edge between 0, 0 and there's an edge between 0 and 1. Okay, how do we know there's an edge between 0 and 1? Because we have assigned 0, 1 and 1, 0, right? Okay, so in between in 1, 0 also there is an edge uh, indicated by this. And uh, then we have an edge between 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So we have an edge between 1 and 3 and we have an edge between 1 and 4. So you can see 1 and 3 is there uh, and 1 and 4 is also there. Then you will have an edge between 4 
and 1, then 4 and 4. Then you have between 3 and 1, 3, 2 and 3, 3, 3, 2. Then you have 3, 1 and then you have 3, 3, obviously because of the edge between uh, the self. So this is how we represent a graph using adjacency matrix. Base complexity of this uh, would be O of n into n. That is O of n square because uh, you need uh, to uh, you need at least n cross n matrix to represent a graph uh, having n number of nodes having v number of nodes. Uh, so since we have v number of vertices, uh, the space complexity would be O of v cross v. Okay, and how do you assign to so establishing edge? Establishing edge between i and j, where i and j are element of set v what would be the time complexity since we are just assigning one directly so the time complexity would be order of one okay so time complexity would be uh, would be order of one for assigning an edge between two nodes in the graph the time complexity would be o of one and to remove an edge uh, between uh, two nodes in the graph that also time complexity would be o of one next let us see how do we remove an edge in a graph so uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, remove which edge do we remove so let us remove an edge between one and three okay so this one would be uh, not present so if we remove one and three we should also remove three and one because it's a bi-directional edge so suppose our graph would be something like this now how do we remove it so here we simply need to assign it to zero that is graph of uh, one and three we simply need to do it what we need simply need to make it equal to zero uh, so uh, i'll just uh, do removing an edge in graph would be okay now let us do this and we simply do graph of one and three is equal to zero and graph of three comma one is equal to zero okay uh, so this would simply remove the edge uh, in the graph and the time complexity of this would be order of one okay let me write in a new line uh, time complexity is o of one because we are simply doing an assignment statement assign graph of one three to zero and assign graph of three one to zero okay so there's the uh, the so the time complexity to remove an edge of, from a graph from an adjacency matrix graph would be o of one and let us just print the graph again uh graph and here let me do a cout statement see how uh, after removing edge one three and three one all right so we'll just print the graph again and uh, let me just compile it again and see what output do we get All right, so first it was one one zero zero. So here we can see that in this representation we have an edge between one and zero one two three. So we have a one over here. Okay, so one three and three one also should have a one. So three one. So this is the element three one uh, that also has an edge over there. So after removing an edge, after removing an edge one three from the graph, what we see here is that. Uh, in the cell of 1 3 we have a 0 here and in the cell 3 1 we have a 0 here so we have successfully removed the edge 1 3 from the graph uh, in an o1 time complexity all right so these are the points that you need to remember for an adjacency matrix graph all right so uh, there's another representation of the graph using adjacency list and that we would be seeing in the next video